Good morning, 731. He's from the New Kids on the Block. He's on the phone line. He's Donnie Wahlberg. What's up, man? How you been, bud? I have to make sure this is the right Valentine. Every man, you got the most stolen name in all of radio history. All right, so I'll prove it's me by doing this impression for you from our days back in Boston. Oh, my God, Donnie, I love you. You're the best. Oh, I just want to eat you up. Yep, it's Sonny Joe. Yeah. You nailed it. Yeah, that was a perfect impression. Are you exhausted from what? From the tour? Working on this? Yeah. Yeah, we're going, man. We've been going for almost a year, so. Now, yeah. I knew these guys. I mean, I was there when they were coming up back in Boston. So I watched these guys come up and just become absolutely massive. Oh, yeah. And yet you guys always remained big internationally, even when the band broke up. You were still big. I think with the inside the United States, you be, you know, you kind of go through phases where yeah. you're, kinda, you're hot and you're cold. But around the rest of the world, you know, as you can see, like with Michael Jackson, they, they kind of never waver, you know. The, when you get the European countries and stuff like that, they stay much more loyal. It's I mean, it's like David Hasselhoff is, you know, he's a star in Germany. It's, you know, we're laughing at him for rolling around on the floor in a, in a TMZ.com. And in Germany, he's the biggest star that in the history of that country. So Yeah, in Germany, they're like, you can roll around anywhere you want here. <laughs> Just roll, yeah. baby. All right, so what's the one country, we're talking to Donnie Wahlberg on the phone, what's the country that if you went to, they treat you like some kind of God? Wow, right now it's Canada. Um, although Canada's more like the U.S., but um, I, I, I guess... Um, for me, maybe it's Sweden because I have Swedish descent. You know, they tend to be, it's kind of cold up there. So yeah. uh, they tend to not treat anyone like a god. But um, And they're not really I, throwing their clothes at you because they need them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That sucks. I say Canada right now. Canada yeah. is number one right now. Full service tour is tomorrow night at Verizon Wireless Amphitheater. And tickets still available? Yeah, and tickets are, this. you know, the, the great thing about this tour is, you know, we, we even with the first leg of the tour that we did last year, tickets are very reasonably be priced. We know, yeah. you know, it's a hard time for a lot of people out there, especially in the state of California. Um, so, you know, we, I mean, you could buy tickets for $10 for the show. I mean, you take a, a you know, you could take a group of five for, for I think, 50 bucks. I mean, it, it's pretty amazing. So, you know, and the show is really, yeah, I think it's the best tour we've ever done. I think the show is spectacular and, um, and, you know, we definitely want everybody in Southern California to come out and check it out. It's pretty great. And you better be there, Valentine. Well, are you guys going to point me out from there? No. Spot Light on you. you can come on. You can come on stage and, and and introduce us, or do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. You got, hey man, <laughs> you do whatever you want. You can grab a guitar and play <laughs> and play along. All right, yeah. that's do what whatever everybody you wants want. to see. Yeah, we want to see him do that. Yeah, Donnie Wahlberg from the New Kids on the Block at our phone line. Hang tight, bro. When we come back, I'm going to prove to everyone listening how much your band has meant over the years to young ladies in this country. I yeah. have proof. <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg's been hanging out the phone line. So, dude, let's go back to what we were talking about off the air, the Michael Jackson thing. If you were in town, would you have gone to the Michael Jackson Memorial? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely would have gone. I choose to remember him as a guy who really inspired me and uh, really had it not been for him and his brothers. You know, I, I would be probably, you know, driving a truck or in jail somewhere. I think I'm the only one of six boys in my family who never spent more than a week in jail. So <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely true. And, um, you know, I mean, Michael Jackson was a huge inspiration to me. So Something you guys may not know about Donnie, and I want to see this come full circle and come back around because it's been a while since, you know, the Sixth Sense and everything. When he did Band of Brothers, when he was in that, arguably one of the best, best things I've seen on TV in 20 years, Band of Brothers. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. But, you know, and one of the coolest things about Band of Brothers now, I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, to play, you know, a guy, a guy from World War II who was a, a real hero and, and yeah. to, to represent those guys was incredible. But one of the cool things now, you know, doing music again is how many husbands come along with their wives now and boyfriends just to say, hey, man, I loved you in Band of Brothers. It's like it's like Band of Brothers has made, you know, new kids cool for the guys now. That's and, funny. And that's, uh, that's like an added bonus still to this day to see how people react to it and how soldiers react to it and stuff. It's really, a, it's really an honor to do that. There's a young lady in the studio. I wanted to give her some mic time real quick here, if you don't mind. She is one of your biggest fans. She, oh, God, you're crying? She's crying. No, she Wait, has been since Angel, he answered the phone. Um, I'm 34. I just want to... Oh, oh, I just what, wanna, why are you crying? Because you, really, you guys really mean a lot to a lot of people. And very much like, granted, maybe you may not feel it, but the gravity that 
you have that you guys did with your music, it really did touch a lot of us. And we've kept it through our life. Do you follow me on Twitter? I totally do. (laughs) I even made another account to add more followers to you. Okay, well then I think if you follow me on Twitter, then you know that I know how important we are to you guys, and you know that I appreciate it more than anybody in the world, how important we are to you guys. And, you know, a year ago I was starting to go through a divorce, and, you know, I started writing songs again and and, and making music not knowing where it was going to lead. And, you know, I got together with Joey and Jordan, and the next thing you know, you know, we're making songs and making a record and we're going on tour, but the fans, you know, you guys have helped helped me to a hard time as well and so now that leads to my question are you going to be at the show on friday i will okay because if you weren't i was going to give you tickets so uh, (laughs) no well then maybe she's like oh i'm not going to be there uh backstage hook me up i want to come on introduce you guys well valentine you got to come introduce us and and if you want Feel free to bring her, and if if not, I'll I'll make arrangements for you to get backstage passes so I can meet her. <laughs> Great, now I gotta do CPR in the lady or thing. He's never gonna make it. Look, but that at sounds her. fun. Actually, I would enjoy that. Thank you very much for that. You know what? You will be one of about fifty guys among about eight thousand women. So enjoy yourself. Yeah, not bad. Oh, no, not, not bad, bad at all. Good, <laughs> good odds.